Hi everyone, it's Tiffany Sharp, and I know I haven't been here in a long time. I haven't made a YouTube video in quite a while. Um, I've been really busy with a puppy, and so I'm finally getting some time to make videos and things again, but I wanted to uh, do this unboxing video for you guys because look at this, I got this awesome giant package from Amber at a house of books. She contacted me and wanted to see if I wanted um, anything from her shop. She actually has a physical shop in Michigan. And um, this is the gathered kit that she has sent me. And I'm just really excited to open this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just open it up. This is how it came. I did not peek at all. So first of all, the fabric is awesome. I can definitely use the fabric and the ribbon. Oh my gosh. So I took a look at the shop, the a House of Books, and it looks like a cool place to just go visit. There's um, like an area where you can pick out a bunch of book pages and ephemera and stuff and create your own journal, which I thought would be so much fun to go and do. All right, so little bits of, looks like book, book bits. You know, when you take apart a book, there's like bits and pieces. Then I don't know what it's called, but I know what it is. I know exactly <laughs> what this is. So um, bits of the spine and the cover and everything actually all all bits of the spine it looks like that's fun and some stamps and I was also looking at the website I think the website is a house of books.com I believe and um, it looks like most of the stuff that they have is it's all vintage and it's all like actual real items they're they're not reproductions or copies or anything these are actual physical stamps these are awesome they feel oh, they feel really cool they're very like papery and matte love it love the I must have gotten the neutral color because there was like two options a color and then neutrals so I I tend to love using neutral so this is a good option for me so stamps I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep all of this on camera but I'll try oh, it's cute little card and some buttons oh puzzle pieces that's cool and then a seal I'll open that up later some lace Ooh, ooh, that's got a fun border it like this that's fun <gasps> and a little cute little vintage clothes pin awesome that was cute how it was wrapped um I kind of skipped by this but this is a vintage envelope looks like it says 1908 with a oh it's gonna be an actual letter <sighs> gosh it's fragile okay oh this is so cool August 30th 1910 that's cool I'm gonna try and read this later on <laughs> love it okay and some some um things to to what oh, I can't even rickrack is that what that's called I can't remember but little bits of ephemera ooh St. Charles Dairy Company oh this is like the real deal too this isn't like a reproduction <laughs> this is wow look at how many I got I got the full pad and some carbon paper in the back oh that's cool like I can put these in all of my journals. Yep, whatever journals I'm making from here on out, <laughs> it's gonna have this. Oh, I 
think this is an earring. I think that's a, yep, one of those earrings that you clip on. And, okay, I gotta smell this. I don't know what it is, some sort of space. Cute. And then some, oh, looks like hand dyed items here. Oh, tea bags. And then some muslin, silk. All right, a cool variety of textures. That's fun to use in journals too. Oh, cool. These might be stamped onto fabric. I love that idea. And a book cover. Oh, oh awesome. I love the inside. Cool. I don't know what this is. It says No Man's Land, Liberty Avenue, The Common. Hmm. The album, that's cool. And then it looks like napkins. Ooh, love those colors. That'll be fun to use. Some nice words cut out of magazines. That's cool. Oh, and a um, library card. Guys, this is so much stuff. I've barely even gotten through half of this. Some envelopes. And ooh, my favorite. Just the that tissue papery paper. I bet you these were book pages. So the shop really I the mission statement is um to reduce waste and save items give them a new purpose, which I absolutely love. I, I really, really love that. It's near and dear to my heart. I don't know um, if you guys are familiar with Fodder School, which I help run and I'm the executive producer of. And um, for my last year's Fodder School, Fodder School 3 project, I encouraged repurposing junk mail into some really cool folios. So this whole thing of repurposing and giving new life to these old vintage items, I just absolutely love the whole concept. So an entire store like that, I might just have to go visit. <laughs> I, I don't think it's too far of a drive, maybe it is, but it'll, it'll definitely be worth it, I'm sure. These vintage postcards, I'll have to read through and some maps. Oh, Seattle. I used to live right here in Milton. I was just talking about that today. And some gorgeous book pages. Look at the different variety. There's some in French, some possibly German or Dutch. I can never tell um, which one it is. All types. Oh, these blank pages are fun too, just for stamping. Indexes. Oh, here's another map. I do love maps. Rhode Island and South Carolina. Neither, I've not gone to either of those states. Some music sheets. 
illustrated illustrated um, dictionaries are fun. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have hours and hours of fun looking back through this, you guys, but I just want to just do a quick flip through of everything. Oh, that's cool. I say quick and then I'm doing every single page. Oh, oh, I love that. Okay, quick. Oh, that's fun. So that is tons and tons of variety. Ooh. I might have to photocopy some of these before I use it. I always say that and then and then I forget, but you know, it's always fun to use the real thing, right? And then you can, like, I can go visit the store and get some more, <laughs> or I can just order another kit. So uh, because these are actual pages from the book, every kit you get will be slightly different. Like I will never get this same kit. So uh, that's pretty cool. I love that. Um, that idea that, you know, like each time you're, you're definitely going to get something different. And I think that they do have, uh, subscriptions too. I think this is part of a subscription kit. So, oh, wow. So here's what looks like to be a reproduction. This is the first thing this is the only thing that I found that's that looks like a copy of anything but everything else is is um, actual real vintage this is just some paper that's meant to look like I'm not sure what it what that is but a different type of paper <laughs> um, yep these two these are reproductions but that's it you guys like four items in all of this so that is this is awesome so thank you so much amber for reaching out to me and asking if i wanted to try out anything in the store i am thrilled with all of this I, this is beyond awesome <laughs> this is like unbelievable um so uh, I will, of course, put the link to her shop, to that shop, A House of Books, underneath the video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, I am going to spend the next few hours just going over every item again and opening up these little bags and having a lot of fun. I'm going to make a whole journal of this. That's, well, at least one, of course. I'm going to make lots of journals out of this but i'm definitely gonna make one and then maybe i'll share that one too and do maybe a flip through i don't know how long it's gonna take me um before i have time to make a journal but i definitely am gonna use as many you know no, well, no not as many items but i'm gonna make a journal of all of these items only these items there we go that's what i want to say um and then i will hopefully do a flip through soon so thanks for watching everyone. <laughs> Bye.